Next time you reach for the sugar bowl, try to imagine that it was so rare and expensive, it was called white gold. Producing sugar from sugar cane first took place in India. About 300 BC, Alexander the Great's army reported seeing a reed that gives honey without bees growing there. Christopher Columbus never made it to Asia, but clumsily slammed into the Caribbean, and later brought sugarcane plantings there, along with slavery. The many types of sugar available in stores differ in crystal size or color depending on how they're processed. Sugarcane provides sugar, but also syrup, molasses, rum, sugar, ethanol, sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, and sugar. This table sugar has many names. First Choice, Maria, and Monte Dulce, but it all comes from the same sugar cane. Some people say it looks like bamboo, but they're wrong. Bamboo actually looks like sugar cane. Here in the field, a worker pairs away the husk from a stalk of sugar cane. He then chews the cane to get the sweet crystals into his mouth, which he spits into a bag. And that's how sugar is made. Artificial sugar is made through a very different process. This machine called an orphan grinder feeds cleave sugarcane into chopper drums moving so fast they become pixelated in real life. The heaviest pieces of sugarcane drop into a transport bin during the world's most boring drag race. Trucks, currently searching for the Plains of Silence, transport more cut cane to the mill for processing. Typically, the mill is just a room filled with day laborers who chew on and spit out sugarcane for 8 hours a day. At the mill, and also in your sister's bedroom, trucks empty their loads onto the receiving table. The cane is fed through a belt that gives them two separate washes, aka two additional washes compared to someone you'd find at your local card game store. The cane must be as clean as possible before the juice is extracted because, well, do you want to drink dirty juice? Wait, you do? Oh. Alright then. This crusher is designed to break down the cane's outer shell. It does its job a bit too well, because the cane is now grass. The most edible grass falls into a milling tandem that extracts the juice by smushing the cane. It also makes Parmesan cheese somehow. Try not to think about it. In this vomit-style milling tandem, the cane passes through a series of five or more consecutive mills to process the cane into sugar liquid. If the factory uses at least 10 consecutive millers, the cane will be milled into sugar gas. And at 100 consecutive millers, sugar plasma. The Blue Hard Hat Association supervised the operation at all times. They also bring in this vat from home, which they use to collect the slurry of parts from all the animals accidentally ground up in the harvesting process. It's time for the factory workers lunch break, consisting of sugar cane, parmesan cheese, apple juice from the episode about tea, and chemically addictive stimulants. This laboratory adds tons of dependency nourishing substances to their product every single day to ensure customers come back for more after developing a lifelong addiction. The primary drug added in by these factories is the sugar itself. American diets are notoriously overloaded with sugar, and too much of it can cause diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. In fact, a single bottle of soda can contain 146% of your recommended daily sugar intake. No really, that happened to me, that's real, put that on the screen. Anyway, back to the show that, when you think about it, is thinly veiled advertising. The sugar juice slides through this tower into the pit the bad guy falls into at the end of an 80s action movie. Sulfur dioxide bleaches the juice, which causes it to gain this delicious crust. The crust has its pH level taken, 
while someone watching this video who thinks they're extremely clever makes a joke that this is a bag of cocaine. It's actually just powdered lime, and you're not as clever as you think you are. A 12th century clock mixes the cane juice and lime together, creating a new product called Clime, or Lane Juice. Eventually, this mixing action combined with the lime juice starts creating sponges, which must be monitored because they're very delicate. For an example on how to overuse a sponge until it's ruined, turn your TV on to Nickelodeon. A runway model wearing trendy gloves and the latest designer jeans siphons off some fashion juice from the pipeline to place into these postmodern flasks. We all know that fashion juice is unsettled sugarcane juice, but don't tell a model that. You'll make them cry. Now after all this work, the factory has made two types of juice. But what does this have to do with sugar? Absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, at the actual sugar factory, the boss's pet steel drum is getting a scrape bath from a kind volunteer from the Blue Hard Hat Association. His caked-on muddy flakes are sent off alongside the Parmesan cheese from earlier to high-class Italian restaurants to act as an appetizer, explaining why most Italian restaurant bread is as hard as a rock. Inside NASA's backup silo, these decommissioned space shuttles are retrofitted with airbags and turned into the perfect pressurized bounce houses for the sugarcane juice, which is exploding with energy thanks to its natural glucose and fructose composition. It's time to stir the world's largest latte, whose only function is for the factory workers to communally sip from to keep them going during their continuous 18-hour shifts. Any sugar from the foam skimmed off the top of this latte will be recycled into the rest of the sugar production. While you're here, would you care for a spoonful of chocolate icing? No? More for me then. Workers now pour a big bucket of thick, white, sticky stuff into the solution. And yes, you know exactly what it is. It's sucrose crystals suspended in alcohol, not cum. Again, you're not as clever as you think you are. As a local bomb technician carefully pulls out the settling tank's firing pin so the entire factory doesn't go up in smoke, he steals a smear of unsettled cane pulp for inspection. He smears it all on a clear glass slab, so he can approximate what it'll look like later when he hires a prostitute to stand over top of him on a glass table. A man from the White Hard Hat Gang arrives to try to sabotage the Blue Hard Hat Association's work. Using an ancient technique known as Diarrhea Waterfall, the rotating motor draws the molasses to the outside of the machine, while the crystals remain on the inside. The Hershey squirting is so violent, the machine drops a small stop shitting arm to let the rotating cylinder know it's getting out of control, and to knock it off. The machine pisses itself in embarrassment, which for most people, is an improvement. A quick rinsing of delousing powder from the delousing powder filling machine means the machine is perfectly clean and ready to filter the next batch. Next, Peter got himself a big scoop, and he wants to show it to you. This is raw sugar, which has a high molasses content, and is unbleached. And this is plantation white sugar, which has an extremely unfortunate name when you think about it. The factory's pet giant steel drum is now clean, and happy enough to fill itself with sugar. This spinning action helps dry the sugar, and creates a passageway that is blocked until you solve a puzzle somewhere else in the dungeon. The Liga Agricola Industrial de la Cana de Azucar are the world's only producers of sugar. All other brands simply license the sugar out for temporary use. These commemorative tote bags keep business partners happy, so they won't enact antitrust laws against them. A hoist carries three of the bags to a platform at the end of the facility. Each bag weighs one ton, so that's almost three whole tons of sugar. 
the bag's anus is opened so the sugar abortion can finally begin. The sugar is put into an automated packing machine. Gary is here to monitor the machine for issues, but he currently has his headphones on, and will fail to notice when a rat falls from the ceiling into a bag. Well done Gary, by giving the customer a free bonus with their bag of sugar, you deserve a raise. This landowner white sugar is available in a plethora of different packages and brands. You can also have a daily American dose served to you on an extra large plate.